The collection of rockets that have defined Huntsville skyline for decades back in place. So after six years, Rocket Row will be reopened to the public and News 19's Kayla Smith takes us to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. After years of restoration, this piece of history has returned to the Rocket City, ready to educate the next generation. By blending historical preservation with modern uh, enhancements and educational opportunities, the center continues to serve as a beacon of inspiration, we hope. The five redstone rockets have been showcased at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center since the 1960s. They tell the story of the space race advancements Huntsville engineers made leading up to Apollo missions and the launch of the Saturn V. Those years finally took their toll, necessitating a critical need for restoration to preserve these priceless artifacts. The rockets, removed in 2018, have now been restored and remounted on their pedestals. And Rocket Row has a new name, honoring the donor who made much of the work possible. Fred Luddy first visited the Space and Rocket Center when his son attended space camp. I said, you know, this is such a magnificent place, but some of your rockets look a little tired. And then they, they already had a plan. Um, the plan just needed a little fuel. In addition to the restoration work, Rocket Park now includes new green spaces and an amphitheater for educational programs. The area also showcases a section of the SLS Core Stage Pathfinder, a crucial test piece used to prepare for the Artemis I mission. This recent acquisition reminds us that we are still on the journey of exploration. Soon, the Rocket Center will unveil a wall with more than 20,000 names of the people who have worked at Marshall Space Flight Center, making our journeys to space possible. In Huntsville, Kayla Smith, News 19.